Hello everyone, the Chart Guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now, and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit, and we feel after watching this course, it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge, which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Hey everybody, looking at SPY daily, weekly, shorter term time frame. So we had a pullback day today, but the bulls bought the dip. You can see that nice lower wick. We bounced above the middle Bollinger Band daily support. The Bollinger Bands are getting very tight here, so we're going to be seeing a battle pretty much between the all-time high of 227 and the middle Bollinger Band, which is going to be right around, let's see, it's 225.21, so that'll be around 225.40 or so at the open tomorrow. So we need to keep a close eye on this middle Bollinger Band because if we lose that support, we are looking back down at the low of this consolidation right at the end of last year, 222.73. But right now, bulls are still in control, and we'll see here on the five-minute chart in just a minute how strong that dip buying was. So on the weekly time frame, a couple weeks of consolidation, bulls showing up this week, and you can see still a very bullish weekly candlestick. And if we close right here right now, heading into next week, we would be looking for a new all-time high as we are currently just 60 cents away from that level. Certainly not significant when you are talking about 60 cents out of a $226 instrument. So looking at... The five minute time frame on spy and there were trading opportunities in both directions so first off the bulls were in control to start the day we hold the 20 period five minute support we see higher lows higher highs here's a base of support established at 226.31 new high of the day then we hit a little bit of a double top 226.58 i don't pay as much attention to double tops and double bottoms when they occur in consecutive candlesticks i like to see a little bit more time in between that but it was definitely a resistance level to watch. Then we formed a, another higher low at 226.36 and then a lower high. We couldn't break the high of the day by two pennies. So now it's clearly a resistance level. You can see 226.56, 226.58. And then as soon as this candlestick formed, we broke the higher low pattern. So 226.31, 226.36, breaking that. The bulls tried to recover. They back tested the 20 period, five minute moving average, rejected as resistance, saw a little bit more downside, another attempt, another rejection, and then an all out dump on increasing volume. And at this point, obviously with the new low of the day, very, very clear that the bears were taking over. So there were a couple bearish signals. The first one, which had me, this is your heads up and your red flag saying the bears might take over now because the uptrend has been broken. And then there's your convincing dump small bounce this ended up being a bear flag we rejected from the exponential five minute resistance saw another leg to the downside another bounce that looked like it could be a bear flag but the difference here was at this point we were in oversold territory the five minute rsi was under 30 and we were scouting for support we're saying okay we have lost all five minute support so where are we going to find support now i looked at the daily middle bollinger band that's down in the low 225s so we're not in that area so then i looked to the hourly to try and find a closer support and we look at the 200 period hourly and we ended up seeing the low of the day bounce five cents above that level. So we knew we were approaching the 200 hour moving average support. We saw this bounce attempt. And then right here when the bulls formed this higher low and closed at the high of the five minute candlestick, now we're looking for the bulls to change the trend. This tells us that we're seeing a, a hold of the 200 hour moving average support. Now we have a higher low and then there's your convincing candlestick. 
breaking to a higher high. The lower high pattern on the five minute time frame is broken. And even if you weren't comfortable going bullish at this point, you're certainly knowing to exit your bearish position because things are turning to favor the bulls. From there, we consolidated, we back tested the 20 period, it held higher high, reject from the 100 period five minute resistance, another higher low, another higher high, reject from the 200 period five minute resistance, another higher low. This higher low was at 225.93. We bounced off of 225.98, and then we continued up with this pattern for the rest of the day. Higher lows and higher highs. This pattern never broke on the five minute. So higher lows and higher highs break. We know to look bearish. Lower highs and lower lows give some nice bear trades, nice bear gains. And the higher lows and higher highs start again. And we know to go bullish towards the second half of the day. So look at where the high of the bounce rejected originally the 20 period five minute moving at, or the 20 period hourly resistance. But then we did get over that at the end of the day. So that is now support. All moving averages are back as support. And we know this 200 hour moving average is a key support to keep on watch as we head into the end of the week tomorrow. So some nice back and forth action. End story is the bulls buying the dip and they are in full control as we head into tomorrow. And we'll see if we get this new all time high to end the first week of 2017. That's where the bulls are looking. I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.